Hey there, my name is William Jans and you are... Adrian. And we just pulled up to a very funky building, downtown Vancouver, and we have a project to install one of my photographs that's gonna be 44 feet wide, filling an entire hallway. It's gonna be kind of difficult, but we're gonna make it seem really fast. So, <laughs> there you go. Sounds good. And that doesn't look like much, but that represents thousands of dollars worth of photography. Whoa. The first part was sanding the entire wall area, 45 feet by 8 feet tall. Then mop up all the dust and debris. Anything behind the mural would show up as a bump. The install took 11 hours from 3.30 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Doing this at night meant we would not be interrupted by hallway traffic, and keeping dust down was also an important goal. Plotting and measuring to adhere the first one was the most complicated. That first one has to go in accurately since if it tilts even a sixteenth of an inch, that could transfer to being two to three inches out over 45 feet. And we have only two inches to trim on the top and bottom over that entire 45 foot width. This was a floor to ceiling install, so getting that first one in correctly is vital. Each panel was 54 inches wide by 8 feet tall. We had 10 or 11 panels to make up the entire 45 foot width. Getting each subsequent panel aligned just takes time. It's precision work, but personally I find that's fun to get it just right. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty intolerant of a mural install that does not align. Granted that the prints at 8 feet tall can shift ever so slightly in the print rollers during the printing process, but we even tried to correct for that. We would tape a panel in place perfectly, then peel off the backing from the top down, slowly rolling it down to adhere it as we go. You've got one chance on that. I am darn proud of the alignment on this, and I bet you will not find a mistake. This is the largest image I've ever created. It's made up of 15 images that I shot from a helicopter about 2,000 feet above Vancouver. The stitching was super hard. The working file on this was 34,000 megabytes. That is 34 gig. It would take about 20 minutes to open and 20 minutes to save each time. It took almost two days to stitch together and match. The detail in this huge image is so good that you can actually make out the W in the Woodward's building sign. When in fact, we were so far away we could not even see that W. I am pleased I was also requested to include extra helicopter photos that would fill the remaining wall area. Those were quite a bit easier to install. So it's one in the morning. Things went well. We're in a good mood, but we're a little warm. And we're probably a little tired. Yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, but it's, it looks awesome, so yay. I am proud to have one version of this photograph inside the cruise ship terminal at Canada Place that greets every cruise passenger as they arrive. After all that hard work, it seemed a good idea to do something downright silly. So here you go. Thank you so much for checking this out and thanks for subscribing. Yes, you will find varied stuff on my YouTube channel from travel adventure, drone work, goofy things, scary things, but I promise all of it will be interesting or silly or nerve wracking. I'm very close to getting my ad revenue back, so thanks for your help by subscribing or commenting. So to close in the great words of Frank Zappa, great googly moogly. Thanks for checking this out and please subscribe as more stuff is yet to come.